Assalamu alaikum, this is Khalid and you're watching Arab Guy in the International Challenge June 2016 where I, go, where I try to go as high as I can in the International Challenge ladder Do you want to continue battling? Yes My rating is currently at 16.09 with 9 battles, 8 wins and 1 loss So far so good Let's see if I can reach Maybe 1650. 1650 would be a nice number to end uh, today. Uh, Fran from Spain with a 1599 rating. He has Ambipom, which uh, which has Fake Out, which has Knock Off, which has and which is faster than Kangaskhan. So with that in mind, we have Talon Flame, Ambipom, Groudon, Xerneas, Cresselia, and uh, Salamence. I mean, this is the usual big six stuff, but Ambipom actually makes it scarier. I'm going to lead with Kangaskhan Cresselia, seems, I mean, that's always my lead against Big Six. It's always worked for me, so it will work for me, it should work for me now. Unless he goes for, like, Brave Bird knockoff onto Cresselia, knocking it out, which is going to be very painful. But it should be fine. You notice the... Pandora Pikachu sitting over here. If you followed me on Twitter, I've been trying to get our uh, Pokemon UE mascot uh, for our like, tournaments and such. Just, I just bring him around whenever there's a tournament, so it's going to be nice and cute. Uh, so, he leads with Salmons and Ambipom. Uh, Salmons with the Intimidate is kind of annoying uh, and Ambipom has that fake out so he's most likely going to fake out the Kangaskhan so I, with that in mind I will going to pr protect protect the Kangaskhan and I hope he does not double edge knockoff the Cresselia I'll just Icy Wind Icy Wind If Icy Wind goes through it's going to be super good The Silence usually goes for Hyper Voice in the first turn or so But we'll see how it plays it out Kangaskhan protects and the bomb goes for fake out onto the Kangaskhan. Hyper voice. Perfect. I take this as a chance to power up punch that Ambipom. And Icy Wind. Super effective, and uh, Salmons goes for Draco Meteor onto the Kangaskhan. He really wants to get rid of it. Doing okay-ish damage, and Ambimov goes for Taunt, which is fine because all I need right now is Icy Wind. So all I need is another power punch onto the IMB pump and we should be good to go. And of course one more icy wind for just to take care of that Salamence. 
Procedure should be faster than the summons right now. So we saw Fake Out, Taunt and... Yeah, that's all I guess. It has an interesting move pool. But thankfully we, we knocked it out before we saw its interesting move pool. I mean, Taunt is scary enough. So my opponent's now right now facing a plus two Kangaskhan and a very healthy Cresselia. Now he's probably going to protect his Groudon and then Thunder Wave my uh, Kangaskhan. And I know how to deal with that, I'll just return the Cresselia and Hopping Hand. Oh yeah, I cannot. My Kangaskhan should be at plus 2, is it enough to knock out the Cresselia? Actually the, the, actually the taunt changed things, so I'll just protect here. Protect and I see it. Garden used protect as predicted. My Cresselia goes for Icy Wind. Doing whatever minimal damage to that Cresselia. But then it could be using Trick Room. Ah! I did not think about it until the last moment, sadly. I could have power, power punched it again. Still, I could Sucker Punch. And helping that. Sucker, pu Sucker Punch at plus 2 is going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, and if it's uh, the special variant with eruption, it's not, it's not going to do much less damage. Gravity. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, unless my opponent's Cresselia has Helping Hand, my Groudon is going to survive. And that way, I would I will knock out his Groudon. However, uh, I feel it's very likely he he has Helping Hand. I mean. Why wouldn't you run Helping Hand? It's so good. Like I'll just waste some turns here, I'll just protect and... Uh... I see Wind again, because why not? Actually, I'll Thunder Wave his Cresselia. It's already slow, so whether or not it's slow, it doesn't matter. So I'll just thunder wave it. He goes for Ice Beam. He goes for Prosperous Blades again. I believe I have a very good chance of uh, winning this. So I'll just Prosperous Blades right here. And helping hand. My Cresselia goes for the helping hand. But the Cresselia uses Ice Beam onto the Groudon, doing some damage. And Precious Blades should. Yeah. As expected. Now 
Now if he had helping hand or sword stance, things would have been very, 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 very different. However, he did not and had ice beam instead. So gravity, ice beam, trick room. What else could he be running? Now if he has psych up I would laugh a lot. Because I would be using Geomancy, because why not? Actually now I can't think of it, that would be scary, so let's let's go with uh... Actually why am I precipice blades? Why am I using precipice blades? I just fire punch it and moon blast it. Should be enough. Goes for ice beam once again. Uh, not going to knock out the ground. Oh, she does knock it out. Now I hope he doesn't get the what's it called the freeze. Just moon blast it again. Moon blast. Should be it. One more, one more, and should get knocked out. Ice beam, please do not freeze me because I have been frozen many times in the past. Too many times, and he forfeits. Yeah, he was. It was, it was clear he was trying to bet on that freeze chance. And thank you for watching, I hope to see you in the next episode, and let's see how far we can go in the, before the day ends. Goodbye!